Welcome back everyone. In this section what we're going to do is just fiddle around with the back a little bit and as you can see there's been a lot of little changes. It got a little bit rounder than it was in the last section but overall it hasn't really changed too much and I'll just kind of explain exactly what I did in between sections. Remember how in the last section we just pulled out just a little bit of the uh, back bumper here? Well all I did was go in and grab two top rows because it used to be more like this back in like that and I pulled them out a little bit to make this a little bit rounder as well as if you remember that this part used to come all the way out over to here for a little while so all I did was I brought it back in I just moved it in like this and as well as I'm going to square it off a little bit that way we have a little bit more defined back and everything else is pretty much the same. All, I, all the other things I did was just keep pulling and pushing to get it nice and smooth as I can. So like I say, things changed a little bit, but nothing that I know you guys can't handle. All it was was, again, the major thing I did was pull out the bumper a little bit bigger, and I moved this area inwards just a little bit, because remember, it used to come all the way out here. And all I did was just edit my lines like I've showed you guys. So that's pretty much it. So in this section, what I want to do is just uh, continue working. And we'll bring back our image planes here on the top view here for a little bit. And we're going to add one more section of the back part of the trunk. And once we've done that, we can get into some of the tires. Because that's the last thing we really need to block out before we can actually start getting into a lot more detail. So in this section will go pretty quick, and it's really easy to do. What we're going to do is we're going to grab our curve tool again, and we're just going to make a new set of curves right in this area here. So four there, and one, two, three, and four. We're going to grab both of our curves, and we've done this a lot now. Surfaces loft, right click, select isoparm, and we'll add some new isoparms into our mesh here. So like I said about the back, don't panic too much. All it was was just a little bit of editing and a lot of time pushing and pulling. I probably spent close to an hour rounding everything off. That way you guys don't have to panic too much that it changed a little bit. And I'm just going to insert those isoparms, go into our perspective view, and move up roughly into position. And now we can just sculpt this again, and we've done this before. I'm just going to change that into a sub-D so we can really see how the lines are. And now we're just going to go in. and try to match it up as best we can. And I can probably go in there and change this into a subdivision. And to a regular polygon, grab our split polygon tool, and we've done this before, and we're just going to start changing the direction so that matches up a little bit better than it is at the moment. And delete the faces we don't need anymore. And we'll merge those two together. This will come up a little. Grab our split polygon tool again. And just edit our geometry. Like so. Now I'll change this into a sub D. And now we can really make sure that these guys are going to line up the way we need. Yeah, we got a couple little extra little guys there. 
So we'll take care of that. And again, just keep moving back and forth, making sure that you're getting it where you need it to be. So that'll match up nice and clean for us. And now what we can do is we're going to go to our perspective, or actually our front view might actually work a little bit better. And we're going to start moving things down so that we get that nice little rounded look. Like so. Alright, and now we can duplicate that over, and we can delete that old line that we don't need anymore. And that's pretty much the body of our car for the most part. So what we can do now is we can get into the actual tires, and they're pretty simple to do. What we're going to do first is we're going to create a circle a NURB circle, and we're going to rotate it up 90 degrees. My channel box sometimes likes to go white, so it's fixed now. And we're just going to move this one over here. And we're going to duplicate it, just regular duplicate. And we'll scale up. Get to about there, and we'll grab the first one again and scale that up to about there. Move it down just a little. Select both, and we've done this before as well. Loft. And we're going to move this out into position. Just going to hide our image planes now. I'm going to right click, select isoparm, and we're going to add an isoparm down the middle. Can delete the curves now, and we're going to convert into a polygon. And just delete the old nerves, move that back into position. Right click, select faces, and we're going to go extrude face, and we've done that in the last section center this time. Push out once, hit G twice, a little wider, and one little small one again. And we can change into a sub D, and we can match up our tires now. Center pivot, modify. And we're going to grab the outside ring, or the inside, so we're going to go vertices. And we're just going to grab the ones on the inside here. So I'm going to click off the ones on the outside that we have. And we're just going to round off the tire. Because the tire is not so square. And then we'll grab these ones on the outside as well. 
image planes again. Click off the top two. 